This morning, my phone won't stop ringing. You know who's calling me? Everybody says they met me in Topeka, 1998. And do I want to make their movies? You guys want me to do remakes of films? Haven't been made yet. Okay? Look at this. I'm drowning in coverage. The story of a horse and the horse who loved it. <laughs> that line usually gets a laugh whenever a theater company performs David Mamet's biting comedy, Speed the Plow. But when Miami actor Paul Tay delivers it, there's a special zing. His timing is impeccable, his cadence right on, and his facial expressions just about perfect. Paul is playing Bobby Gould, Hollywood studio exec faced with a tough choice. Greenlight a quality film project with little commercial appeal, or green light the blockbuster that's sure to make a ton of money. Sure no, 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 Joking apart, babe. Babe. <laughs> Paul is an actor that uh, you can always count on to make unusual choices, and then once he's made them, making them work, giving them a sense of honesty and integrity uh, every time out. And uh, I've always felt that uh, acting is only about making choices, and uh, Paul's an actor who doesn't go for the very first idea that would come into your head. He comes up with unusual choices, but when you see him do it, you can't imagine any other choice. Joseph Adler, the producing artistic director at Gable Stage, is a walking theater encyclopedia with an innate ability to spot and nurture talent. To be a successful actor, you have to be able to be a, not afraid to share with audiences all the things that you've experienced in your life. And that is, is a great leap of faith because the hardest thing about being an actor is that you always feel or you're afraid you're being judged. So for instance, if I'm playing a scene where you're my wife, okay, and in this scene, I have to abuse you. I have to beat you, I have to call you names and say terrible things. Your fear sometimes as an actor is that people are gonna sit there and go, I wonder if he's like that in real life. And so you feel like they're judging you. So if you pull back, Okay, if you're a little bit afraid, it's like walking near a dog. They're going to smell that fear. They're going to attack you. But if you commit all the way to that moment, then you and the character sort of transcend that moment and sort of become one to where there is no judgment. They're just judging the performance of itself. What happens, though, as an actor is how much of you do you lose in that moment? You know what I'm saying? Like how much of, of your own personal life has been sacrificed or um, exposed to where you don't want to deal with those moments anymore. Building on his success at Gable Stage, Paul Tay founded his own theater company in the fall of 2000. The Mad Cat Theater Company is located on Biscayne Boulevard in downtown Miami. It felt like home to me. It felt like, you know, uh, something that I wanted to do, something like a band. You know, I, I grew up uh, playing instruments, so I, I think moving into to acting, I always felt like it's such a lonely kind of isolated feeling and I miss that feeling of being in a band. And so being a part of a company, you had that sense of camaraderie. I'm gonna be rich and I can't believe it! Rich, are you kidding me? You know we're gonna have to hire someone just to figure out the things we wanna buy. <laughs> Paul is always willing to push the envelope and he does that both as an actor and as a director. As a matter of fact, he does it as a, uh, an artistic director at his own theater. And uh, that's why I think that Mad Cat has added so much to the South Florida theater community. I was thrilled when he started that company. I've gone to see almost everything they have done there. I believe in, in their mission. I believe in the work they do. I believe in Paul. Do you enjoy your work? Excuse me? Do, well, do I enjoy my work? Yes, very much. Paul Tay, praised by critics and beloved by audiences, is a theatrical multitasker. He's a quadruple threat. He can act, write, produce, and direct. And when he's not performing on stage, you can catch Paul on television in the hot new series, Burn Notice, filmed right here in Miami. He has a recurring role as Barry, the money launderer. I'm gonna need another mojito. Have as many as you want, just tell me about this guy. He's a bag man for this land grab thing down in Venezuela. It's a lot of money, a lot of guns. Not my style. I'm more of your friendly neighborhood, uh, hide your cash from the tax man kind of guy. On the big screen, Paul has appeared in many of the features that are filmed in the South Florida area. 
and he also does television commercials, primarily to pay the bills. How does an artist stay true to their artistic needs and vision, and at the same time put food on the table? And, you know, how do you find that balance? And um, it, it is difficult, but I think that, you know, for me, at 40 now, I realize that as long as I'm doing something within the chosen field that I've studied and that I've chosen to be in, um, then I am succeeding. And, you know, if I'm making a commercial, okay, for, you know, like Honey Bunches of Oats, which I did a year ago, you know, and it's a national commercial, it's one day's worth of work. I'm selling a cereal. I'm not killing anybody. You know, I don't eat it. You know what I mean? But it's something that financially provides me to then go do Mad Cat, my theater company, and not have to worry about where the money's going to come from to pay my bills. So it becomes a balance of one hand washing the other. And I think so, that that's, that's how you survive. I think that's how you sleep at night. Paul is currently in Los Angeles for pilot season, hoping to expand his television credits and to make enough money to subsidize his first love, the Mad Cat Theater Company here in Miami. That's kind of the dream, to, to continue that idea, just on a larger scale. You know, continue working, making some, some money, making some contacts, and then doing the other stuff that I really love to do so that you have that balance. Because I think one without the other, um, uh, well, what's the old song, you can't have one without the other? Love and marriage, that's it. Yeah. That's kind of the goal, till I die, you know, just find that balance. And then in between, go to the horses, you know, bet the ponies, that, that's about it. To learn more about actor Paul Tay, visit madcattheater.org. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.